Hey there folks, in this video we're going to take a look at a Canadian Math Olympia problem where we have a quadratic equation with floor of x. So we want to solve for x and we're going to do that, but before I start with the solution, consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So first of all, I'm going to move this to the right hand side. So I will have 4x squared plus 51 equals 40 times floor of x. Now there is something nice about floor of x based on the definition of floor of x. Floor of x always lies between x minus 1 and x. Therefore, if I multiply everything by 40, I should have 40 times floor of x lies between 40 times x minus 1 and 40 times x. Now, since 40 times floor of x equals 4x squared plus 51, I can just go ahead and say that 4x squared plus 51 lies between 40x minus 40 and 40x. Next, let's go ahead and rewrite these two inequalities separately. So I want 4x squared plus 51 to be less than or equal to 40x. And I want 40x minus 40 to be less than 4x squared plus 51. We can rewrite these two uh, a little more nice. I have 4x squared minus 40x plus 51 less than or equal to 0. And I have 4x squared minus 40x plus 91 greater than 0. So let's go ahead and solve these two inequalities for x separately. The first one is 4x squared minus 40x plus 51 less than or equal to 0. Fortunately, the left hand side is factorable, so I can factor it as 2x minus 17 times 2x minus 3. And therefore, I will have x lies between 3 halves and 17 halves. For the second one, we have 4x squared minus 40x plus 91 greater than 0. Again, we can factor the left hand side and I will have 2x minus 13 times 2x minus 7. And therefore, the solution is x is greater than 13 halves or x is less than 7 halves. Now, since I want these two to hold at the same time, I need to go ahead and find the intersection of these two solutions. So let's go ahead and do this with a number line. Let's say this is our number line, and the numbers are 3 halves, 7 halves, 13 halves, oops, that's 13 halves, and 17 halves. Now, the first solution is here and the second one is this part and this part so the intersection is this part plus this part so the solution set is x lies between three halves and seven halves or x lies between 13 halves and 17 halves and notice that both 17 halves and 3 halves are included in the solution set, even though that doesn't matter. Now, for these two intervals, we have some possibilities for the value of floor of x. For example, for the first one, if x lies between 3 halves and 2, the floor of x is going to be 1. If it lies between 2 and 3, it's going to be 2. And if it lies between 3 and 7 halves, it's going to be 3. Similarly, for the second interval, the floor of x can be either 6 or 7 or 8. So we have six possible values for floor of x, and we're going to log in these values in our original equation, which is this one, and then we're going to solve for x. So let's go ahead and do that. So our original equation is 4x squared minus 40 times floor of x plus 51 equals 0. 
Now, before I start with plugging in the values of floor of x in our equation, uh, notice that floor of x is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 or 8, and therefore I can say that x is a positive quantity. So I'm just going to go ahead and ignore possible negative solutions that I will have for x because they are invalid. So let's say floor of x equals 1. So we will have 4x squared minus 40 plus 51 equals 0. Therefore, we will have 4x squared plus 11 equals 0. Now, notice that the left-hand side is a positive quantity, and therefore, this cannot be 0, and therefore, there is no solution. Next, let's say floor of x equals 2. So we will have 4x squared minus 80 plus 51 equals 0. And this simplifies to 4x squared minus 29 equals 0. And we will have x squared equals 29 over 4. And from this we get x equals root 29 over 2. Now we should go ahead and check this solution out. Notice that root 29 lies between root 25 and root 36. Therefore, root 29 over 2 lies between root 25 over 2 and root 36 over 2. Therefore, x lies between 2.5 and 3. And that means that the floor of x is going to be 2. And that is valid because we assume that floor of x is 2. So this solution is valid. Next, let's go ahead and assume that floor of x equals 3. So we will have 4x squared minus 120 plus 51 equals 0, which gives us 4x squared minus 69 equals 0, which gives us x equals root 69 over 2. Again, we should go ahead and check out this solution and see if it's valid. So we know that root 69 lies between root 64 and root 81. That means that root 69 over 2 lies between 8 halves and 9 halves. And therefore, x lies between 4 and 4.5. And that means that the floor of x equals 4. And that's a contradiction to our assumption where we assume that floor of x equals 3. So this solution is not valid. Let's go ahead and assume that floor of x equals 6. So we will have 4x squared minus 240 plus 51 equals 0. And then from this we get 4x squared minus 189 equals 0. And from this we get x equals root 189 over 2. Now, to check this out, let's go ahead and say that root 189 lies between square root of 169 and square root of 196, which are 13 and 14. Therefore, x lies between 6.5 and 7. And therefore, the floor of x equals 6. And that is true. And that means that this is a valid solution. For the next one, let's assume that floor of x equals 7. So we will have 4x squared minus 280 plus 51 equals 0, which gives us 4x squared minus 229 equals 0, which gives us x equals square root of 229 over 2. And again, we need to check the solution. So we have the square root of 229 lies between the square root of 225 and square root of 256. Therefore, x lies between 15 halves and 16 halves. That means that x lies between uh, 7.5 and 8. That means that floor of x equals 7. And that is true. So this is a valid solution. Now for the last one, 
let's assume that floor of x equals 8. So we will have 4x squared minus 320 plus 51 equals 0. That gives us 4x squared minus 269 equals 0, which gives us x equals square root of 269 over 2. Now to check this one out, we can say that square root of 269 lies between square root of 256 and square root of 289. So x lies between 16 halves and 17 halves. Therefore, floor of x is going to be 8. And that is true. So this is another valid solution. So we found 1, 2, 3, and 4 valid solutions for our equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you find this video.